Alright, so it's nearing the end of March, which means it's nearing the beginning of April. And if you're a high school student, you know exactly what's coming up. That's right, prom is going down. I have a girlfriend, we've been dating for about 11 months now. We're done with the asking girls by calling them up at their house at 7 p.m. and say, Hey babe, will you uh, go to prom with me? And then she says yes, and that's the end of it. No, 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 no. We have to do something different. We have to do something big. We have to do something cool. But I don't want to do something like, I'm going to give her flowers and here's a sign and that's it. Nuh uh. My girl's special. I got to ask her in a special way. So here's what's going to go down. I'm going to send her on a scavenger hunt. More specifically, the amazing race. To aid in filming, I've enlisted my mom. I've enlisted uh, best bud, Brent Christ. I've enlisted my little brother, Joseph Newton. He's going to be the one facilitating the puzzle. We're going to be good to go. I made custom envelopes, all filled with clues that are going to lead her to her next pit stop. Now, she doesn't know any of this is happening. I invited her to come to my house around 1 o'clock. She thought we were going to hang out, maybe make some cookies, play some video games, you know, the usual. But what's going to happen is she's going to show up, and on the front door, I'm going to tape this to Patty. So I'm hoping she's going to know that she should open it up. This is going to send her to Kilwins, an ice cream shop that we frequented in downtown Franklin. She'll have to order one scoop of ice cream and the next clue from the cashier to get the next envelope. And that's where pit stop number two starts. This is going to send her to a parking garage. Why a parking garage, Mark? Because that's where I first said, I love you. So she's going to have to go there. In order to get her next clue, she's going to have to complete a challenge. She's going to have to put together a puzzle. Now, uh, granted, it is only eight pieces, but uh, it should take some time. And uh, that puzzle will spell out, I love you more, because I do. Once she completes that puzzle, then she gets the next clue, which sends her to my backyard, where the final clue is going to be. Now, it's not really special that it's in my backyard, it's just a diversion, because I have to get down to the final pit stop, which is where she's going to be asked to prom. In my neighborhood, we have a huge fountain, so what's going to happen is, when she's in the backyard, her last clue is going to send her to the fountain, where I'll have set up the flowers, the sign, and then we're good to go. And, uh, I'll, uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Let's go. What are you in charge of today? I'm about to uh, make her do the puzzle thing at the parking garage. Ah, oh, sounds beautiful. What are your concerns? Uh, that she won't get it in time and that she will really mess it up. <laughs> There's only eight pieces. I think she'll be good. Well, once if she doesn't, it could, she could, we could be there for hours. I'm pretty confident. Change of plans. The first clue is not going to be taped on the door. It's going to be handed to her by my baby sister because she wanted to help. All right, here we go. Start of the day. We're going out to Killens right now, putting Brent, Colin, in position, they're gonna eat some ice cream. It's gonna be great. Now we're going to Killen's Ice Cream Emporium Boutique Shop right now. We're about to help at, ask Patricia to prom for Mark. We got our amazing race package. We got Sam in the back. Killing the tunes, man. Colin, show him your face. There What's you up? go. There you go. I think it's right up here. We're following Mark right now. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna go up to the top of the parking garage. Just and I are gonna chill, wait for their signal. We're waiting for my mom to tell me she left our house. We'll tell Colin and Brent that it is a go. They'll tell us when she leaves the kill wins, and then we'll be good to go. Joseph will leave the parking garage, get in a parking spot, and she's gonna make up a puzzle. All right, explain what just happened. Okay, so when we were showing Brent which ice cream place the eagle is going to land, um. I realized we forgot one of the envelopes, the envelope you're gonna give her. So uh, we had to go back to the house. I asked my mom to put it in the mailbox. She misunderstood, she didn't put it in the mailbox. We freaked out for a second. We sprinted inside, we got the envelope, we came back out, we ran. Right now though, we are going down 96 and there's a very high probability that she's also coming down 96 going the other way towards my house. So what we've done here is, Joseph, you're gonna duck. What you gotta do, you gotta duck. And uh, I'm wearing sunglasses to be a little bit more uh, inconspicuous, even though I'm pretty sure she knows the car I drive and what I look like when I'm driving it. That being said, I'm out of breath because we just ran to get an envelope. But luckily, first envelope's in place. Brent's good to go. We're just gonna try to get to that parking garage. All right, so we are in position. We are in the parking garage right now. The spot where I said I love you first time. It's beautiful, it's great, it's sentimental, it's nostalgic. How are you feeling about this job right here? Pretty fine, actually. Really squish damp in here. I got the boxes and I got all eight. Count them eight. Yeah, um, count them eight, please. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. I've counted at least four times. All right, we... Okay, the shot we have now is perfect. 
Brent says, okay, the shot we have now is perfect. It will definitely blow our cover, but she doesn't know Sam, we're assuming, so he'll make it look like he's playing a game on his phone. That's the kind of stealth I'm talking about. There we go. <laughs> I'm not All right, so we just got confirmation. We just got confirmation that she has left the house. She's on her way to Kilwins as we speak. Brent said that their shot is good, good to go. I told him that they're on route to the location. No response yet. I'm assuming he's good to go. You better be, she's on her way. Right now, uh, I'm waiting on uh, Sam and Colin. They're getting the footage on the inside. I'm sitting right up the street. There's Kilwins right there. We're gonna wait for her to come out. Uh, hopefully they get some good footage and it works out. It's beautiful. He's gonna let me know when she's done in kill wins. And then Joseph, it's up to you. We're gonna make a puzzle. Let's make history. Let's ask a girl a prom. What do you think? What am I supposed to do, Joseph? You gotta finish the puzzle. Explain to me what just happened. All right. Hand off. We were uh, sitting there with the boxes, and then right as I put all the pieces out, and you hand me the letter, she was right behind you, about five feet. She was way. She was there way faster than we predicted. I peeled out. The original plan was having me sit up top on the top of the garage, but she was there immediately. I had to peel out, go down. I just waited outside. I don't know where she parked, but she was there really fast. Right now, she's being diverted to our backyard. We're going to our neighborhood on the other side. We gotta get to the huge fountain where it's gonna be our last spot. We have to get there, set up the tripod and the camera, get the flowers out, get the sign out, and be ready to go by the time she gets there. And I don't know if we're, uh, we, gotta, we gotta go fast. We, we gotta messed go fast. up with the boxes. The boxes, was, we were too slow. It's all right. 